Hey guys, welcome to my second PHP tutorial. This tutorial will cover a login page and how you can use your username and password to authenticate a user. And I will assume that you've gone through my first tutorial on how to set up a home PHP server slash Apache HTTP server. And once you've done that, we'll get started. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do here, the first thing we're going to do is create a, a username slash password form. Um, it, this this is the way the uh, this is the way that uh, the data that you enter will be processed. Um, it needs it needs to be a way of collating what you want to enter, username, password. So this is the way. And yeah, I would assume you know basic HTML. Uh, you don't need to know too much. Um, here yeah, I want to make the form. Um, so yeah, okay. In case you don't know how to make a form, um, basically what you're going to do <coughs> is the top, this top line here, form action equals index.php. That's where uh, the page will be directed to when you press uh, the button, the uh, form button. And this is the method. It could be get or post. In this case, it's going to be post. Um, so yeah, it will all become clear in a minute. Okay, um, as with all uh, as with all uh, PHP scripts, you must always start with the PHP. Um, this is because it's to signify the beginning of the PHP script. Um, in a second. Okay. Right. Okay. Now we've done the P now we've created the form, uh, the HTML form. We're what we're going to do now is uh, the first thing we've got to do is to um, retrieve the data that's entered into the username and password field on the HTML form. Okay, and the way we do that is quite simple. Uh, we're going to do this will be uh, this variable will be the user. This is where the user information will be stored. So anything you enter into the username field will be stored under this variable when the PHP script is executed. Okay. So in this case user will become post oh, this bit's important. Post user. Okay. This uh this variable right here, this is the variable um used. This is what this is the variable that this is basically this is this equals this, okay? So any data entered in your form when it's posted, um this will be it right here, okay? So yeah, uh, because there's also a password, we're going to use a pass as well. Um, this will require two conditions in this statement, which I'll explain in a sec. Um, <coughs> there we go. So username and pass. Um, and now all you need to do really uh, in this example is to create is to make an, a simple if statement. In this case, if two brackets for multiple conditions, if user equals equals rascal nine nine nine. And pass equals equals who, and then echo access granted, else echo access denied. Okay. I know we've done that. If we cut off, chop off everything here. Notice I'm putting the uh, the uh, the HTML tags after the script because uh, stuff will be outputted either access denied or access granted depending on uh, whether the username gets the depending whether the client gets the username and password correct or not. So if we save that now, um, that should all work. Refresh the page. Access granted. Okay. Password nine nine. Password. Password and no access granted. Okay, there we go. That is the very basics of making um, a PHP authentication uh, script. Okay, it all works. Uh, if you get a password wrong, Rascal 99, um, random crap. Or if you create the, if you, or if you enter the correct um, password, 
and incorrect username, that should not work, okay, there we go. Okay then, so there we go. Um, my next tutorial, w my next tutorial will cover um, more advanced authentication um, techniques because this isn't very good. Um, we need a more uh, permanent way, a more permanent way of uh, storing username. We need a more permanent way of determining whether you're logged in or not. Okay, so you log in, you can go away from the page, you can come back to the page, and you should still be logged in and stuff like that. Okay, so it, it will involve cookies and uh, sessions in my next tutorial. So yeah, uh, I hope this tutorial has helped you. Um, it certainly helped me when I searched something like this up. So uh, yeah, have fun. I'm Ross with 999. You can check out my other tutorials on uh, YouTube.com or uh, Reaver, or you could search tutorialvid.com. Okay, goodbye.